Good morning guys, thank you so much for joining today and we will be doing uh, module 5 lesson 11 and before we get started with our objective and our materials please take a moment and say thank you to your friends and family um, for everything they've been done to help you so far. So today's objective is to show, count, and write numbers from 11 to 20 in tower configuration increasing by one a pattern of one larger which means that today we're going to make numbers um, 11 through 20 and we're going to find out what happens to the numbers uh, when we add one to it and we're going to show we're going to count it with uh, our fingers or um, the different objects we have and we will write them so what you'll need for today's lessons are you'll need loose leaf paper, you'll need something to write with, you'll need your math book, you'll need your number bond chart, and you'll need um, something of the pieces, about 20 of them. So now let's get on with our application problem, but before that, please take a moment um, to bring out all the materials, and let's get started. So today's application problem, I'll read them out loud twice and you'll pause the video and you will um, do the application problem and we'll come back and see if it matches. So here it goes. Um, Layla has 10 toy trucks. She told her mom she likes to spread them out on the floor. She said she doesn't like to put them away neatly in the little toy box because then there are fewer toys. Draw a picture to prove to Layla that the number of toys, trucks, is the same when they're all spread out as when they're in the little toy box. Again, Layla has 10 toy trucks. She told her mom she likes to spread them out on the floor. She said she doesn't like to put them away neatly in the little toy box because then there are fewer toys. Draw a picture to prove to Layla that the number of toy trucks is the same when they're all spread out as when they're in the toy box. So now I'm going to draw a picture of 10 toys. Since I don't have the toy trucks, I will draw them in circle. I just have to make sure I have 10 of them. Um, so now I have a total of 10 circles. They're all spread out and we're pretending that these are Layla's 10 toy trucks. Now we're going to put 10 circles in neatly to show that this is what the neat toy trucks looks like and this is what the spread out looks like. So Layla said that if she puts them in an organized way, then it makes her, it seem like it has she has less toys. And when they're spread out, it makes it seem like she has more toys. Remember, in the story, Layla has 10 toy trucks, right? In the story, she has 10 toy trucks, right? So it doesn't matter whether how far she uh, displays them or how far she puts them or how neatly or like in, in a line she puts them, the number of toy trucks does not change. So we can tell Layla that it doesn't matter how you organize them, whether they're spread out, whether they are all organized, the number stays the same. It's 10. So now let's move on to our lesson. So today we have 10 snap cubes, right? We need to make 11. How many more snap cubes do we need to make it to 11? That's right, we need one. So 10 and one gives you 11. So now I have 10 and I add three more snap cubes, right? I have to go to 13, so 10 and three more makes it 13. So now I have 10 and it looks like I have one, two, three, four, five, 10 and five. We needed to get to 15, which means 10 and five makes 15. So between all the numbers of, um, 
as the number gets bigger, whether it's 11, whether it's 12, whether it's 13, whether it's 14, all the way up to 20, one of the things you'll notice is one number that is consistent or same, which is a group of 10. So we just add 10 plus whatever is the remaining number to make the teen numbers. For example, we have 10, we added 5, it became 15. Then before we had 10, then we had 3, we had 13. So let's go to our problem set. Make sure you are at the right problem set. Today um, we are working on lesson 11 in module 5. So we're in module 5, lesson 11, and it's a pretty simple problem set. So you guys should be done super quick. The problem set says count, color, and write. So they give you two examples, 10, 11. As you can see, they give you 10, which means like in the lesson, I told you that all the numbers that goes above 10, 10 is a consistent number. So what comes after 10 and 11? So we have 10, 11, that means we have 12. How do we know? Because we know that 10 is the consistent number. So I'm going to color 10 of 10. I'm sorry, my color is a little messy, but as you can see, my 10s in the group are same. So as soon as you know, you just follow this line or count the boxes to count 10. After 11, it's 12. So 10 and what number gives you 12? So I know 10 and one, gives me 11, so I know this is 11 and I need to get to 12. So it means that I have 10 and two. 10 and two gives me 12. And I want you to figure out what comes after 12 and then they give you a clue right here, which is 14. So you have to color in or shade in the number 14 Try to use two different crayons or make, just like we're doing it in the books, uh, if you're using a pencil, you can shade them in, darker and lighter. And then over here, they gave you a missing number, but they gave you all the boxes. So please be careful as you count because it's a grid and you can just count the boxes in the grid and it will be all okay. So we have 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Same thing over here, and this is problem set is for the students who does not have the math book. Again, this is for the students who doesn't have the math book, so you make sure you are putting in the correct date and the number. And instead of using a grid, they used X's and O's. So we know this is 10 circles, right? 10 circles plus one more gives me 11. So over here, they have more numbers in the bottom. So uh, make sure you're writing the correct number. So as you can see, the 10 is consistent. So all the 10s here are circles. So when it comes to 10s, I want you to use circles and any number after 10, you're using X's to represent it. Once you are drawing the pictures, please make sure to write the correct number in the bottom and please make sure to count your objects because you guys are not using the book. So you have to make sure if you have 11 or 10 circles or, you know, 10 circles plus one X give you 11 objects. So make sure you guys complete it. And last but not least, today I would love to give shout out to the entire BCS family, which includes students, which includes parents, which includes teachers, admins, anyone who works and serves our students and our BCS family. I would like to take a moment and um, give them a shout out because we did it. Um, we are finishing the year strong, so thank you so much for being there for us as um, as much as you can, and thank you for letting us be part of your home and letting us visit you um, every day through YouTube. So, you know, big shout out to the friends and families of the students, and big shout out to the students who pulled it through. 
uh, with this pandemic and, um, you know, submitting work, being on iReady. So thank you. Thank you so much. I cannot wait till I see you guys next year. With that being said, I miss you guys so much and I cannot wait to see you guys for next year to see you grow, um, to see you guys come strong. Um, so, you know, enjoy your day. I hope you know, you guys um, have a healthy summer and enjoy the rest of it. And um, you get to have fun because you guys are done with all the schoolwork. So I'm so proud of you. Um, have a good summer. Bye.